calico box crab, Hepatus epilyticus, is a brachyurian crab in the family Calapidae. You can clearly see its fifth pair of appendages and its tucked abdomen, characteristic of brachyurian crabs. The unique coloration of the carapace of Hepatus epilyticus is also evident. Dark gray or brownish coloration with a large number of sizable spots that may be light red, dark borders, which may be round or irregular in shape, can be seen on the carapace. Males can be distinguished by the fact they are larger than females. One of the most unique characteristics of box crabs is the shamefaced behavior, where the crab brings its claws up in front of its face like it's hiding its face in shape. This behavior actually serves an important function for these crabs when they bury themselves in the sand. This encloses a respiratory antechamber that excludes sand from entering the gills. Water comes into the antechamber, passes into the gill chamber under the carapace, flows over the gills, then exits in strong jets through openings beside the mouth. What looks like the crab blowing bubbles is actually water exiting the gills. So these crabs like sandy substrates, but where can they be found? The Patus epilyticus is found in coastal waters along the eastern United States and Mexico. The most common range is the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay to Compeche, Mexico but some have been observed as far as Cuba, Jamaica, and the Dominican Republic. It is usually found in depths ranging from 2 to 91 meters and can be found from near shore to 46 meters offshore. Common prey for this crab includes ballasts and crustaceans. They, along with other collapsed crabs, are able to exploit this resource because they are equipped with shell-crushing adaptations and durophagus parts. Along with crustaceans and ballasts, Papatus epilyticus also feeds opportunistically on fish, sediment, agarians, annelids, bryozoans, and a kind.